Hello guys, this will be a tutorial on how to power up light bulbs, TVs and everything that requires power into your personal house in Fallout 4. Now what I'm doing here is placing a switched power pylon next to a medium generator. Now all this stuff can be found in the power section uh, of, the work, uh, of the workbench. Now, uh, as you can see, the switched power pylon has basically a power radius that will power up anything that requires power into this small radius. Now, as you can see, the radius is uh, basically uh, can be basically calculated using the light bulb and uh, placing it all over the place. Now, as you can see, the radius is not really big. Every time the bulb powers up, it means that it, it is getting into this radius. Now, uh, the advantage of the switched pylon is that it can be turned on and off so that you can uh, switch off your lights, but it's not really a beautiful setup, you know? You can use a bigger pylon, but what you will get is that the power radius will be basically the same, but you can place the generator farther away from the pylon. And um, this, is, this can be um, a good advantage, but it's not really what you're looking for. So if you want uh, a more beautiful setup, you can do like this and place a big pylon on top of your house. And uh, you can also not use a switched pylon, you know, you can use also a normal pylon. Because you know you don't want to get on top of your house every time you want to switch the lights off but if you want to have them switched on all the time you can use this setup and you can just power up the pylon and uh, now the radius will be better distributed into your house and so as you can see the light bulb powers on because it's in the radius and if you take some televisions that are found not in the power section but in the furniture you can see that they are also powered on but unfortunately it may not the radius may not be big enough and the corners of your house may be left without power now as you can see the television won't power on but if you get it a little bit inside it will power on now this setup may be good for you but there is still one problem the terminals need to be connected with a power line and we have no power line inside the house so, but what we can do is we can make a hole in the ceiling and we can place a roof that has a little hole in it. Now, uh, through this little hole, we can pass a power cable using the conduits that I will show in a couple of seconds. <clears throat> now, if you place a power conduit for the floor, you can connect it to your uh, big pylon. Then you can place a conduit on the wall connect the two conduits and now you basically have a, a power source inside your house that can be used to power up terminals and stuff now as you can see the terminal uh, is powered on and uh, even though it's not really uh, much useful if you have a uh, few holo tapes as I do but uh, you know you can do all kinds of stuff if you have a lot of whole tapes like playing games switching on robots and stuff now if you want a beautiful setup what you can do is you can place a corner that is inside the structure and metal stab and this corner has a little hole in it as you can see now what we can do is place our generators uh, near this hole and we place a conduit inside the house 
Now the disadvantage of this is that the is that the generator has to be placed very near to to this conduit. But you know you can place all kinds of junctions and overcome this problem. Now, as you can see, if we connect the conduit to the um, to the power generator, now we basically have um, electricity inside the house. That is what we what we want. Now, as you can see, I'm placing TVs just to see where the power radius is. And as you can see, it's not really big. Now, you can also place a switch instead of the conduit. Uh, but if you want to have uh, something always powered up, you can place the conduit. And now, as you can see, I'm placing a switch. And the switch has its own power radius that is still, <laughs> you know, pretty little now as you can see the light bulb is inside the switch power radius but not the conduits radius as you can see also the television that was powered up will not power up now unless you switch on that switch on the wall now as you can see the tv stays powered up this is probably a bug and um, I don't know why it happens, but anyway, uh, you can use the TVs, lights, or whatever to, you know, uh, calculate the radius inside your house where things are powered up. The light bulb, of course, is the easiest one, but you have to remember that you have to create it first before moving it around your house. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you can make your, your house light up now.